Next up is a way to stay organized in the kitchen. Hi Sharks, my name's Alexander Eburn. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I'm here today seeking a $750,000 investment in exchange for a 7.5% equity position in my company, PrepDeck. Sharks, we all know that cooking at home can be rewarding, but the reality is most of us are no chef wonderful. Meal times can be stressful, time consuming, and really feel like a chore. There's stuff everywhere as you're trying to prep, measure and cook all in one go. The right tool is never where you need it. The food is burning on the stove and then <laughs> there's the dreaded cleanup. There has to be a better way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well now, there is. Meet Prep Deck, the world's first all-in-one recipe preparation system loaded with everything you need to easily prepare chaos-free meals. Prep Deck comes with 15 ingredient containers that not only keep you organised, they double as measuring cups and measuring spoons. A range of prepping tools like a zester, grater, juicer, peeler and more. And they clip directly onto the containers so you can finally prep measure and store without making a mess. The stylish exterior doubles as a large cutting board and it's detachable for easy cleaning. There's a removable compartment for collecting your scraps and there's even a place for your phone or tablet so you can follow along your favourite recipes. Prep Deck is on a mission to bring back the joy of cooking. So which shark is ready to prep their checkbooks and get to cooking up some profits with Prep Deck? Each of you have a prep deck in front of you and some veggies. Please feel free to check it out. I mean, when I first looked at it, I thought it was, besides the name, which is great, it's intuitive, prep deck. Yeah. But I thought that it might have been like, you know, for a taco bar. Actually, the original idea for prep deck and the problem that I was experiencing was that when I cook, I make a mess. My wife, Christine, would come behind me and clean up after me. But when she was pregnant with our first daughter, she didn't want to have anything to do with that. So as I started to do all of these things myself, you know, right there in my kitchen, I thought there was nothing to keep you organized while you cook. Alexander, what does this yes. sell for and how many have you sold? The product retails for between $99 and $119, depending on the configurations. I first launched the product through a crowdfunding campaign on Indiegogo. I had a $25,000 goal and we sold $350,000 during the campaign. So take us your sales from there. For the full year of 2019, we did $1 million in revenue. And in 2020, we did $6.2 million wow. in revenue wow. in 2020. Thank wow. you very much. And this year, we'll do over $10 million in revenue. How do you generate those sales? So 99% of our business is direct to consumer through our own website or through Amazon. What was your ad spend to generate that interest? In 2020, we spent about 25% of our revenue acquiring customers. So you must be making a boatload of money. What are your margins on each unit? So the product costs us $31. We have a landed gross margin of 69%. We had a net profit of $525,000. What would you use our money for? So $250,000 is gonna be allocated exclusively to inventory and an inventory buffer. $250,000 is gonna be used in ongoing product development. And the other one third of the funds are gonna be used to actually build a team. We have a tiny, tiny team right now. But if we're gonna to get to 30, 40 and $50 million, which I know for a fact we will, I need some support. I'm stunned that this thing is selling. I'm a cook, I'm a chopper. I like wood, Yep. ceramic, all the textures that I cherish and love about the cooking experience. It makes it all delicious for me. I'm just not a plastic chopping type board girl, okay? I understand. I'm out. Nothing tells the truth like sales, right. and you've got them. I'll give you a loan, venture debt loan for $750,000, 36 months, 9.5%, and I want 5% equity, not 7.5. And I'll put my full, you know, Chef Wonderful behind this thing All right. and my social media teams. If you've been tracking Chef Wonderful, I've got a pretty big business now. Yeah, yeah. I, I I'm sell aware. a lot of sous vide, I've got cheesecakes, yep. I've got a massive wine business, I'm gonna ship two million Do you wanna cases. get on the carpet and start pitching us? No, but I mean, <laughs> I'm just looking at it saying, does it fit into my world, and it does. Alex, I really like you. I think you got those numbers that Mr. Wonderful says. I just, this is not something that I understand enough, so for those reasons, I'm out. 
All right, good well, luck. Thank you for your time. Yeah, I really Alex, I'm kind of it. in the same boat. Thank you. The only thing I think is genius is that you got these shot glasses in there. So I thought that was <laughs> awesome. I just don't even know the competitive landscape. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thanks a lot, Mark. Appreciate your time. I've been listening, you know, you have the same kind of trajectory I had years ago when I started with my very first product. But for that kind of money and that yep. small of a percentage, I have to be excited about what's next. Well, Laurie, I can assure you that the reason I didn't just go with a venture capital company is I don't want to sit in a room with a bunch of suits and be told how to run my business. I want to work with someone who understands the path that I've gone on. You have obviously been down that path, and I you think that together that we could grow the business. You said that this was going to be a $50 million business. Right. What do you think is going to make it that? We haven't opened any extra markets yet. We're just D to C in the United States. We're about to open Canada. We get asked all the time to take it to Australia, the UK, Germany, Japan. You are really wonderful. Excuse me, there's a I royalty just... associated with calling anybody wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Trademark. 750 is just such a big ask for 7.5%. If you have an offer in mind that you think would make you comfortable. Honestly, I would want 25%. Oh. I want to be the best shark I could be to you, and sometimes that means saying I'm out. All right, well, I appreciate it anyway. Thank you, Laurie. All roads. All roads lead All back roads to Mr. Back wonderful. To Mr. In this wonderful. case, Chef Wonderful. Let's talk, Chef. I think I made you a very fair offer. So $750,000, 36 months, 9.5% interest. Are those interest-only payments in no, the venture structure? No, it's principal and interest. It's a standard venture debt deal. And 5% essentially warrants, which is equity. I, I mean, I've heard from venture debt uh, yeah. opportunities before and but, you know and here's the difference let, let here's me... the difference there are thousands of venture debt funds right there's only one chef wonderful and i'll probably accelerate your growth by about 15 to 20 percent i'm a big deal as a chef sorry <laughs> it's true we're sorry too but they, <laughs> listen you've got to pay for that it's not free i'm a shark yeah no, I, I, alex you can counter you can reduce the equity i am going to counter with 36 months, 9% interest, interest only payments, so that we can actually use the capital without repaying the capital out of that original line for 3%. No, I wouldn't do that deal. Oh, and because that's the right I'm, offer to make. Because that is the exact right counter. Well, except I'm not going to take it. Look, I, I like my original deal. What I do for all of my food deals is reduce customer acquisition costs because I go back to the people who already bought my products from me. Right. Nobody sells like Chef Wonderful. Is there a structure where you can release the pressure on the loan repayment? But Alex, it's not pressure. Look at your it is. numbers. It's using, it's using the initial loan money to pay back the loan. It doesn't make sense. No, I can actually change your world by reducing your customer acquisition costs. Look, you can take that deal and we'll be working together, or you can turn around and walk out of the shark tank. And that's okay too. I respect your business. I unfortunately, Kevin, I'm disappointed, but I need to decline. I need I to find the right deal for my business. I understand, and I completely appreciate that. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. You won my Kudos. respect. Alex, Thank you're you going to kill it. Thank Congrats. you very much you for your time, guys. You did a great job here. I appreciate Thank you. it. Congrats, Thank guys. You. I've had sharks on my vision board for a long time. It's a dream come true to be here. And, you know, the, the response I got from the sharks and the confidence in them, in them telling me to keep at it and that I'm enough to continue doing this alone uh, is amazing. I'll, I'll never forget it. Next in the tank is an innovation to a common kitchen tool. Hi, Sharks. I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. We're from Columbus, Ohio, and we're the creators of The Handy Pan. We're here seeking a $10,000 investment for 20% equity in our company. <laughs> Sharks, Gosh. everybody loves Taco Tuesday. You know what nobody loves? Cleaning up the greasy, disgusting mess that follows cooking with a frying pan. We've all been there. You try pinching the lid, lose half your meat, still end up with grease in your tacos. Or you do the spoon dance, and you have to guess when your food is done straining. Or you have the messy exchange with a clunky colander that you still end up having to clean in the end. That's where we come in. Introducing the Handy Pan. A pan when you want it, a strainer when you need it. With the simple push of a button, boom! The amazing Handy Pan becomes a strainer too. Oh. Bacon, no problem. Eating a little healthier, boom! Perfect for your veggies and stir fries. How about pasta night with the family, sharks? Boom! Now you cook your meat sauce yeah. all in one pan. Cook your meat sauce in one pan. Oh, wow, that's really clever. Hey, and 
The handy pot is perfect for your pastas. What if you don't need to strain? You're cooking something that doesn't require it. No worries. The patented design makes sure the strainer is always there if you need it, but it's never in the way if you don't need it. The handy pan is a must have for anyone who cooks. All right, sharks, let's get cooking. Without yeah. the grease, of course. And you'll notice some samples in front of you to try for yourselves if you'd like. Josh, Adam, one of the hardest things you can do is get on this show. Thousands of people apply. Yes, sir. You did it, and you're looking for $10,000. That is correct. <laughs> You're looking that's for the number we ever that heard. That is a first. It, it, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. It took wow. three years of effort to get on this show. Basically, the valuation is that we wanted to come in here with a number that doesn't stand in the way of a deal. And have you sold any? So currently, to date, after a small production run, we've got $7,955.61 in sales. Really? We understand with $7,900 in sales that we're not going to be able to ask for a million dollar valuation, of course. That doesn't stop anybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. You've been in business three years. Why so few sales? Great question. The sales have been exclusively online. And what I believe is this is a product that's ripe for retail. How much does it cost? $29.99. And, and what does it cost to make? Um, it was $8.89 per unit. Landed, we were at $11.43, but that was only based off 950 units. Josh, but it's what? highly demonstrable. Why do you think your sales are so low? Personally, I think that people like this, but it doesn't move the needle enough in that mainstream market to make someone a frying pan customer who's not already a but frying pan customer. But $7,000, there's got to be a bigger reason. I feel like you're oh, not well, telling us well, something. Let's just like, ask honestly, hey, hey, listen, what do you think honestly, you did wrong? You know, I think in hindsight, I think that we could have promoted it better with our online um, videos, advertising sales. That's not an arena that either of us were in currently. So I think we had some struggles there. What were there. you in? What's your background? I started out as a um, entry level person in a office technologies company. I ended up as the director of service for 10 years at that company. And then I've transferred into real estate. Okay, and you? I am an attorney, and I actually am a server and a bartender a few nights a week at a local restaurant. And an attorney. What does that say about your attorney skills? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, it man. says I need a break a few times a week oh, and want to hit the better. off switch. Oh, good think. clients. <laughs> That's where he finds what his clients, yeah. What I love area that of law? Uh, criminal defense, mostly. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you why it's 7955 bucks or whatever it is. Nobody cares. This Chef is not a product Stop. that's ever going no, to sell. No, are you Stop. kidding me? Well, then how come there's no sales, Mark? Well, let's ask the right question then, right? How much money have you spent on advertising? For that amount of sales, we spent $553 There on you Facebook go, ads. right? It's very, very hard to sell direct to consumer online from your own website. So the next question becomes, did you try to sell these on Amazon? We did not. Oh, well, no. there, there's a Mistake big made. miss. But yeah, listen, absolutely. I'm going to completely disagree with Kevin, all right? So I think that you probably just don't, didn't have the right marketing savvy. When you're cooking, if you could just do this and drain out the grease, eureka. Right. And you don't have to clean two so things. The it's great a, part about the design and our patent is that it can fit on any size pan, any size this? pad. And you have a pan four that covers all of this? We With have four design and utility on what you're holding. We have design issued on pot and pending utility on pot. So three of the four are issued. The value of having an attorney partner, right? <laughs> <laughs> so guys, listen, we've got I, a great product. Guys, it's a great product. Here's what doesn't make sense to me. You're obviously bright guys, right? You're a lawyer. But they got, they got day jobs. Their back's not no, against no, no, the wall. I hear you, but we've had, over the 13 seasons, we've had people here with three jobs, no experience, never knew how to do video, never knew nothing about social, but when they need it and their back was up against the wall, they made it happen. You haven't done anything in three years. Because they got other jobs. Rebecca is not against what, is that wait, against wait, the wait, wait, you want to know something? I don't even care about all this. You ask for $10,000 for 20%, I'll give yeah. it to you. I have nothing to lose. Done? We're done. Absolutely. Done. Good. Got a deal. Okay. There you go. Smart boy. Smart. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what do I have to lose? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Kaboom. <laughs> Pleasure to meet all of you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Appreciate guys. It. Good job. Thank Check you. it out. Brilliant. Why didn't you ask for 50%? I don't want to be a greedy no, but... savage like you.
We came here, Lori was exactly who we wanted. We thought we had a good valuation to just make it a no-brainer. We actually sat on the deck of my house with my wife, drawing this on a napkin, and she first said, you guys are idiots. Uh, I don't even know what that is. And this guy that. said, you won't be calling us idiots when we have a deal with Lori Grenier. First in the tank is a modern version of a traditional service business. Hi Sharks, my name is Mark. Hi, my name is Michael. We started a knife sharpening service by mail, Knife Aid. A super simple idea, disrupting an old trade by e-com. For the right shark, we're offering the opportunity to invest $400,000 for 15% of our company. Ooh, that's a lot of knives. A knife is something most Americans touch every day. Yet knife sharpening, a beautiful ancient craft, has almost been lost and has not been digitalized. Pretty much everyone has dull knives at home. People love using a sharp knife, but very few people know how, where, we even have the time to get those knives sharpened. And that's the very reason we started Knife Aid. So this is how simple it works. Order online, receive our secure postage paid envelope that guarantees safe shipping. Take your dull knives into the envelope, back in the mailbox, and off it goes. And our expert knife smith will work their magic. They will recreate that razor sharp edge, and your knives will come back to you sharper than the day you bought them, all within about a week. So, Sharks, who wants a slice of our business? <laughs> I'm very intrigued. You may not know this, but I'm actually Chef Wonderful. I have blades made by Japanese artists that once made samurai swords. My most expensive is now $3,500. Kevin, you have more junk in your house than any I actually reason. sharpen it with a stone that has two different densities on it. But we'll take your samples. So, so out with the samples, and I think, you know, we want to have a little bit of fun before we start talking about the business and really showing the emotion of using it. I'll try it. Who is most handy with, with a hunting knife, like outdoor? I'll, I'll, do, I'll do outdoor, fine. What we wanted to illustrate here is everybody knows how it is cutting when you have a super sharp knife and how easy it goes. Don't do this at home. Kevin, if you would start with the dull knife, yeah. I want you to cut through the pineapple. Got it. Right through the yeah. center. And this is a dull it's knife. It's very hard to do with a dull knife. Yeah. And it's you see, it, it's, not, it's not very fun, so you're done. That's the dull <laughs> knife. <laughs> you're done. OK, so now we try the sharp knife. You need to hold the pineapple steady. And then you, you want me to swipe yes. at it? Yeah, yeah, do it. Take the rope and you fold it in two. And you take the dull knife first. And Which is the dull one? Uh, the one that doesn't say sharp on it. OK. So <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. You got oh, joke. I deserve that one. <laughs> Hold it a little bit closer to the rope there so it doesn't slip you. Yeah, it's not good. And hemp is super hard to cut in any case. Now. Should I go with the sharp? Yes, yes. Oh, I see. Wow. 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 I mean. OK. I detect the accents. All right, let's start there. Um, Mark and I moved to the US to start up this business. We have a past of building uh, global brands and businesses. Where did you move here from? Uh, we're from Sweden, both. I'm originally from America. I grew up in Sweden uh, and moved to America. OK, and what was your best product that you sold before? Uh, I founded uh, Happy Socks. Happy Socks. Oh, I love those. Yeah, that was yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. You still involved with Happy Socks? Yes, I am, but I'm not operational anymore. I'm on the board and own a Yep. How did you come up with the knife idea itself? We saw something back in our country that was similar, but towards more towards the, uh, the commercial side. And we were thinking about why isn't this done for a consumer and simplify it, get an envelope, get the knives in, fixed price, just quick turnaround. Isn't and how much do you charge? So go walk us through. We would sharpen an average of $10 a knife for everything included. Minimum package, four knives. Does it matter the size? Like, there's serrated, there's um, the bread knife, you know? But that's, that's what like... we simplified. The traditional life shoppers in a farmer's market, they'll go by inch, and they charge different. We made it very simple. It's per blade. Doesn't Any... matter the size. It doesn't Caring matter the size. knife to large knife. Exactly. And even scissors. That's so kitchen scissors, scissors goes in the hunting knife, fishing knife. you do scissors, knives. too? Guys, I'm, I'm a little confused. Something's bugging me. OK. You, Michael, are clearly a successful entrepreneur. So you've obviously made a fair bit of money. Why uh, are you here seeking money if you've got a sort of pretty big stack full already? I have 
previously failed on the US market. Um, we had another brand going into the American market without having American people involved in the business, having the funds raising and how you actually drive growth of the American market. I'm not gonna do that mistake again. We put out two strategies. Either we go to venture capital and get venture capital funded deal on it, or we go all American on what we have seen as the full on American show, how you reach out and- The power of the tech. What part of this market do you need to understand? It's messaging almost. It's really packaging the product, how to communicate it. It's, it's channel Connecting strategy. Connecting with the target core audience, okay? Exactly. What are your sales? So we're on 120 on this side of the year. 120,000? Yeah. How did you get those sales? So, so we really, I mean, the, what we've done is mainly experimentation. We're now on the fourth iteration of our website. So it's sort of a proof of concept sales. You we're currently Instagram doing Instagram ads? Have you we used, used, we yeah. use it's really Facebook, Instagram, Google. How much did you do last month? 37,000. 37,000. Yes. All right, listen, I'm going to give you an offer. I like the concept. You're fresh, you're unique, you're different. Uh, you've already got the packaging down. It's really quite good. I think you are smart in needing to know what the market is here. I, I, there's nobody who knows better, I feel, than... Um, I think I do I, know somebody who knows better. I, no, there isn't anybody that knows <laughs> yeah, better. there is. I know because I've sold over she a thousand so products over 20 years to predominantly the U.S. market, but I'm gonna, gonna it's offer? a risky offer, okay? I mean, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm just gonna give you a flyer, you can take it or leave it. I'm gonna give you 200 in cash, I'm gonna give you 200 as a line of credit, and I want 20%. I mean, if you want someone to just give you cash, great. But if you want someone to give you their mind, their heart, their soul, and the grinding it out, that's me. Well, before we yes channel strategy. Let, that's yes, obviously let's talk a little bit, right. a little bit that's about it because too. I, you know, I think the digital strategy. Obviously, we know what we're doing and how to acquire. So you've got it. that side down. We're done. I you believe there's still tweaking to be done. Of course, obviously. I really we're believe right. that there's a lot to do with physical retail. What do you mean physical what do you mean retail? retail? No, so we what, could put this out as retailers. You want them to sell the service and you just share it. So in William Sonoma, they put up a sign and they say, have your knife sharpened by knife aids. Yes. You pay William Sonoma, you know, 25% exactly. of it. And you try to get every retailer, not just William. And himself. that is brand building because they right. need to give us their email and then we cash them again. That's so easy money too. To. Yeah, just um, so that's just second guys, I could just no. be like, pick a contact, any contact. I have it into every single one of the retailers. We know that, that's why we're here and you ask Ask right? us why we're here. That's yep. why we are here. Everything and, I offer you, I'm going to make you an offer. Okay. What you're I have all the for. same contacts, but I have something she doesn't have. I'm Chef Wonderful. Chef Wonderful's huge in cakes, chocolates, and meats. Google him; he's fantastic. And I love to brand <laughs> stuff around the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'll get behind this product because I like it a lot. Here's my offer. I'll give you four hundred thousand for twenty percent. I think that's a great idea because you, know, you get Chef Wonderful. Guys, two is always better than one. So when you get the queen of retail, and then you put that together, the king of branding, I mean, that's, that's quite the pairing. We, too, would like to give you 400, but 20% of the company. You get two sharks instead of one self-appointed chef wonderful. My brands get into more Americans' hands than anybody else in the panel. Wait, wait, wait. I think you're being very aggressive in what you're asking. But I like greedy people. Okay. So Kevin and I, we're going to offer you five hundred thousand dollars for twenty percent. We're upping the ante. If they want to compete, go ahead. It's kind of like But we're the right option. team for you. There's no question about it. You know, here's the thing. Sometimes you can take more money, but that doesn't mean that you're getting what you really need. So you that need I Chef would Wonderful, know that's what you need. If I could fulfill that <laughs> for no you. Question. We want to drive fast. We have the car. We know how to scale it. We know what we're doing. And we need somebody to say, take that route. It's faster. Take that route. We it's must. faster. What what I done. Done. Wait, what we've what done, done it. Let's say, go what build are something. My words? Yeah, we, we all want to build you something. You guys want to make this a DTC business? This is an equity model. You're going to have to raise more cash. Getting us on board means that the biggest venture capital Silicon Valley oh, are going to pay please, ungodly valuations. And we're going to take this to that promise. You we have to win up our portfolio. Now. You keep charging. looking over at Mark. So I have a question. Uh -huh. Are you waiting for Mark to give you an offer? No, I just feel a lot of energy coming from that yeah, side yeah. of the room. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Are you going to make an offer? You asked All about right. accelerants. What do you perceive to be the accelerant that you need? We just want more 
potent outreach. We, we need better messaging, even clearer messaging. So, so there's different strategy. ways to do that, right? You can buy it, and that's your SEO, right? And then there's PR. Exactly. And that's, right? that's why I'm asking the question. Because social, social PR, I mean, all those tr free traffic sources, those we really want to that, boost. That's where I think I'm stronger than the others, because I can walk into any media outlet and pick it up, deal with whoever I want online. But I'll let you guys make a decision here to see if these deals are what you want or not, and I'll just wait. Who would say, I really feel passionate about because this I'm is passionate. all I'm passionate. I jumped in first. Does anybody else have spent 4,000 bucks? This is real. Passionate? I know how to scale. No, but you passionate because, because you have a lot of businesses. You're involved in a lot. So we need to know that the person that steps on board with us is actually going to give us one hour more than the other Michael, brand you stepped onto. Any, That's important. Michael, to us. You're you're smart. Smart. My entrepreneurs Michael, call me a one hour question. $4,000 on a blade. Moi. That's Nobody not your target else. market. You gotta make a call here, Michael. We're making a call. Just have a quick chat. Yeah. You have 30 seconds. Thank you. Damn, you guys grovel enough? Well, why don't you make an offer? Yeah, this is a good deal. I don't deal. beg or grovel. I'm a shark. I am not above doing whatever it takes. Absolutely. You tell him, Lori. I'm with you, Lori. They're taking too long. You gotta get them back. Excuse me. I thought this was against the rules, no? No, there's no rules. You know, excuse me, guys. You want to know about passion, right? Yeah. Well, I'm not sitting waiting. I want this deal. Yeah. I'm um, here. I'm with you. OK, so for us, we we would really want to ask you to move up to 500 for 20%, because it would feel, feel better for us walking out of here, knowing that we got the same as the other guys. Why not? <laughs> I can't even hear what's going on now. And don't, really don't make do mistake. everything don't make for you. Yeah. Mistake. Um, I think I? at the very you least. You go away. No, no. What do we need? What do we need? Lori, I'll back you. I love your deal, and I think Barbara and I Lori, really I'm in. blow this thing up. You guys know what Plus, we're offering an extra $100,000. No. We came here with the target of Lori and Ronan, but I want them to go up to 500 because then me and Mark will walk out of here. But wait. I'm done. taking a hand no, now. Wait, no, no, no. wait, 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 wait. It's closing. It's closing. It's closing. It's closing. It's closing. It's closing. It's closed. It's closing. It's closed. It's closed. Guys, I'm sorry. I could have got you an extra 100,000. Having four sharks running after us into the hallways is something I would never make, dream of. And I was like, I don't know what was going on. The key was he wanted 100. And as soon as I said done, it was like there was no debate. It's a new breed of shark that grovels. <laughs>